Good evening. Unfortunately, we do not have a quorum of board members, which means we need four in order to conduct the official meeting. So we cannot start the official meeting until such time that we have four board members. We are awaiting the arrival of one. We do not know when he will be here or if he will be here. So in the interest of assuring that we um, recognize or, or conduct business that we can conduct, we will uh, recognize staff and students on our staff and student recognition, our pillars of Valley View, uh, because that does not require board action. Beyond that, uh, we will have to wait to convene the regularly scheduled board meeting until such time that our fourth board member arrives. So this is not our official meeting, but we will recognize our pillars of Valley View and our student so that are to be recognized tonight. I am sorry for the inconvenience, but it is beyond our capacity to control having all board members here at this time. So with that being said, we will start the board meeting, excuse me, not the board meeting, but we will start the portion of the board meeting that doesn't require a quorum, which are our pillars of Valley View. And first up from Tibbet Elementary School, Principal Anna Wilson. We're certainly glad we didn't have any delays. <laughs> okay, uh, members of the board, senior leadership, uh, thank you for this opportunity to recognize one of our staff members. We truly appreciate it and um, are very honored to be able to do this. Robert Vochisek, and you'll understand why we call him Mr. Robert, <laughs> uh, because I probably butchered that name, as he is known by students and staff, is more than Tibbetts maintenance go-to person. He is a part of the family. Robert treats the facilities at JRT with just as much care as he does his own home. He has made our building an outstanding place to work and learn in. Whether it is sprucing up our building, digging to help us create a garden, or reusing salvageable pieces to save the district funds and create functional spaces, Robert does all of these and more. Every staff member and student at Tibbet has benefited from Robert's strong skill base and desire to do the job right. He is meticulous and efficient. He goes above and beyond to care for our building and the people within it. It is our honor to designate him our Pillar of Valley View for John R. Tibbetts School for the 2012-2013 school year. I present you Robert, Mr. Robert. And I must add, he has a cheering squad here and his wife and two children who are Valley View students.
Next, we have from Bolingbrook High School Principal Michael White. Good evening. It is with great pleasure that we recognize Danielle Speciali as a pillar of Valley View. Danielle is a creative writing and AP 11 English teacher. She consistently develops innovative lessons that allow her students to appreciate school and master learning objectives. Danielle's instructional practices are viewed by others in the department as exceptional, and she shares her wealth of knowledge with everyone on the team. This year, Danielle has been consistently recognized for her outstanding instructional practices and serves as a role model for setting excellent SMART goals within her classroom. She truly has a gift for helping students identify strategies for success and motivate students to work to their fullest potential. Danielle's been with our district since 2006 and has been involved in a number of ways. This year, Danielle is a mentor to two new English teachers and organizes many of the department's celebrations. Danielle is an educator who is well respected and is a valued member of our staff at BHS. She is a gifted instructional leader and is a positive role model for students and staff. The students at our school are fortunate to have such a dedicated teacher who helps them succeed, and it is because of these reasons that we are again proud to declare Danielle as a pillar of Valley View. We are now moving into our student recognition portion of the meeting that we're not having. <laughs> so next to the podium is Mr. Chuck Merrick, the Assistant Athletic Director from Bolingbrook High School. Good evening. Um, I'd like to take this opportunity to recognize um, the efforts of an extraordinary and exceptional student athlete, uh, Neka Onijaka, this year uh, for the girls tennis team at Bolingbrook, compiled an impressive 31 and 6 record. She won three tournaments, including Lamont, Bolingbrook High School, and Downers Grove South Invitationals. Um, in that Downers Grove South tournament, she survived a three hour match, which actually started outside and had to be moved indoors. Um, and that was the semifinal match. Um, she managed to come back and win the final match as well. She was an all-conference player by finishing third in the tough Southwest Suburban Conference. She finished in the top 30 at the Illinois State uh, Associ Illinois High School State Association Tennis Tournament last month, which uh, earned her all-state honors. And because of those efforts, we're here to present her with this uh, certificate from the Illinois High School Tennis Coaches Association. Um, and also a certificate from the Valley View School District uh, recognizing the fact that she had a remarkable season and the best part of all is that uh, she's a great tennis player but she's also uh, an outstanding student. She currently holds a 4.52 GPA and she plans on attending University of Illinois Chicago and studying medicine. So Neko Onijaka. Next, we have from Jane Adams Middle School, uh, Mr. Chris Schaefline, the principal. Hi, I'm uh, Assistant Principal Tim Weiler, here to introduce Mr. Thass and uh, his uh, assistant coach, Mr. Setchel. Excuse uh, me, not. Mr. Weiler, could you have your kids come forward so that they can be on camera? Come on, come on in, cross-country runners. We'll look at the screen and tell you you got to keep coming. All right, keep going. Come 
Oh, no. Keep. There's a lot. You may have to put stack some in front of. You see that TV up there? I'll get, I'll get out of the way in a second. Uh, Mr. Thass and Mr. Setchell uh, hold some high standards for our cross-country runners, holding academics above all. Uh, Mr. Thass is in a different building this year, so he had to juggle um, a few different uh, uh, responsibilities, not being in the building full-time, but he did a great job of making sure students uh, were held accountable for grades as well as uh, being stellar role models in the building. Just a couple highlights for this year's cross-country team. There's only been Four cross-country teams in Valley View and middle schools uh, that have made it to state, and that's all four times have been Jane Adams. Uh, this is the only second girls team ever to make it to state. The other middle school state uh, team has been Jane Adams. Uh, the girls team was 14-2 and two this season, which is a very impressive record. Jane Adams now has a total of 57 students that qualified for state in nine years under Coach Thass. And uh, this is their ninth straight winning season. So without further ado, I would like to introduce Mr. Thass as coach for the Boys and Girls Cross Country Team. It's a funny thing being a, um, a cross country coach um, or any type of coach. You go into the season every year being like, eh, I don't know. And then somewhere along the line, they make believers out of you. And these girls did that consistently. They worked so hard. Some of these girls have been doing it uh, for three years and just continue to amaze me on the things that they've been able to do on the course. Um, we have 10 runners. Um, there's seven on a cross country team, but 10 of them also qualify for state as alternates. Um, our first alternate is sixth grader um, who willed herself on this team by working incredibly hard. That's when, that's Catherine Carranza. Um, it is unusual that a sixth grade girl, when given the opportunity to run a mile, chooses that she would rather do the two mile, and that is Andrea Rodriguez, on varsity almost the entire year. Um, Emily Ng does about 740 different sports, um, and one of them is cross country, and she uh, was so talented at it that she was on our state squad. Um, so Emily Ng, great job. <laughs> Um, these next seven girls were the ones that ran at the state tournament. Um, there is not very many sixth graders at the state tournament that actually run there. And um, Naomi Pulapade right here has one of the greatest kicks. A kick is like your last probably 200 meters that I've ever seen on a runner before. She is going to uh, be doing this very a, a very long time very successfully. <laughs> One of our eighth graders who has been doing this for three years and working very hard to get to this point, she ran wonderfully um, all year, um, really came through for us in the clutch at sectionals, and that is Nicole Tungle. Um, I was doing math the other day, and the, oh geez. Okay. <laughs> um, I was doing math the other day, and the, uh, you, you have the distinction of being the 50th, the 50th qualifier in Jane Addams history, and I hope she's going to do it again next year, because the greatest thing you can have as a coach is when they're only in seventh grade, and her, her name is Natalia Hernandez. <laughs> Another great runner, worked very, very hard, ran um, over 110 miles over the summer to get where she's at, uh, Madison Troda. Um, I do really quickly have to say that for six years, the Ford family has been a part of the cross country at Jane Addams, and this is the last time, and we got her to state. Um, she ran wonderfully at sectionals to get us there, Katie Ford. Another incredible runner that we've had for the past couple, uh, the past three years. Um, she has been there at just about every meet, and the hands down one of the toughest runners I have ever coached, Jamie Prakas. Um, I do have to uh, take a moment to say that this next girl is the most accomplished runner that I have coached at Jane Addams. Um, she is the most accomplished runner at Jane Addams in distance. She uh, holds the seventh grade record um, with a 12.22 for two miles. She holds the seventh grade mile record with a 5.39 for one mile. She holds the 
all-time school record with a 539 for a mile and she also broke the school record this year with a 1210 for two miles um, our school record holder and one of the greatest runners I've had the opportunity to coach Ariana Emil So the girls team made it down state, the entire girls team, and we went down there and it was one, one guy with, with a bunch of girls and, and he was like, you know what, They're, the entire team made it to state, I gotta do something, I've gotta do something great. And there has only been two middle school runners that have um, meddled at the state meet. They, uh, all state is top 25. And um, he decided that, that was, he was going to be the second one. Um, one of the... Um, most driven runners, one of the most awesome individuals that I've had the pleasure of um, calling um, one of my athletes, uh, Caleb Robertson. Um, thank you very much, uh, Mr. Weiler, Mr. Chafeline, and I do have to say thank you to Mr. Setchell and our two athletic directors, uh, Linda Fort and Mickey Wright, for a great season. Thank you very much. Next from Jane Adams, we have Mr. Oh, excuse me. We have from Humphrey, Mr. Dan Larity. Good evening. Thank you for uh, play, having this honor up for Triana. This is her. Uh, Sex, she qualified for state in the spring, and she came back for the fall for cross country. Um, so I'm going to introduce uh, her coach, Jennifer Tom, who had, uh, she also had a, a runner qualify for cross country last year, our first runner ever, and two, two for two this year. So Coach Tom. I think uh, Adam Thoss had it correct, and when you coach cross country, you just don't know. Um, when the season comes up, what you get. But at Humphrey, for the last few years, we have been truly blessed to get great runners. And Triana definitely is that. She is such an accomplished athlete and student, and we are so proud of you and all of your accomplishments. She comes out every day for practice and gives it her 110%, and you can't ask for any more than that. What a great job you've done, and we wish you the best in the future and all of your accomplishments. So you should be very proud of yourself, and here's a certificate from Melody. Next from Lukansic Middle School, Assistant Principal, Mr. Jason Buck. All right, good evening and thank you for having us here this evening to recognize one of our own who qualified for the state cross country meet this year. At Lukansic, we're very proud of all of our student athletes and how they carry themselves both on and off the field. And this is, uh, this is one of the best that we're recognizing this evening. Um, I would like to introduce his coaches, um, Miss Maggie Luft, who could not be here this evening, and uh, our other coach, uh, Miss Kelly Boley. Thank you, Mr. Buck. Good evening. Um, I would like to recognize Carlos Ibanez for his wonderful accomplishments this year. At our sectional meet, he placed 16th out of 91 runners running 2 miles in 11 minutes and 50 seconds. 
After a very long delay at the state meet down in Bloomington Normal, he ran a two mile in 12 minutes and two seconds, placing 105th out of 183 boys runners. He's been a fantastic young man to coach. It is my honor to present you with this certificate, and I'm going to miss you so much next year. Good luck at Romeoville High School. Finally, from Avito Martinez, Mrs. Sarah Di Donato, the principal. Good evening. It is my pleasure to, this evening to introduce a wonderful student that we have had for the past three years, Justin Suits. He is here with his coach, Miss Judy Williams, who would prefer to coach than publicly speak, so I will be speaking for her. Um, Justin Suits has been one of the top seven runners for AVM for the past three years. This past season, Justin qualified to go to the state race with an 11.17 two-mile time, and at the state race, he finished in 45th place with a time of 11.33. And again, not only are we proud of Justin's achievements on the track, or cross-country rather, uh, we are proud of his achievements in the classroom as well. He's an amazing student, and that couldn't have been done without the support of his parents, his mom who's here, and his twin brother, Zach. Um, he's an all-around amazing student, and we will be missing him as well as he goes to RHS. But as I told him now, he's got some competition from Lukansic um, on the student who's, who's promoting there as well. So congratulations, Justin. With that, uh, this concludes the meeting that we did not have. Um, at least we, all of our board members that are not here tonight had very pressing business, one of which who was in New Jersey uh, supporting uh, the victims of Hurricane Sandy. Hurricane Sandy. Uh, so what we will do is we will tentatively uh, reschedule tonight's board meeting for next Tuesday, November 20th, uh, with the 6.30 executive session uh, beginning, and at 7 o'clock, the open meeting. Uh, we will send out further correspondence when, when we can confirm. So I thank you all for being here tonight. Uh, this includes the non-meeting, and uh, have a good evening.